Okay, here we have the duplication of a full upper denture using laboratory silicon putty. It's mixed, uh, mixing enough of course to make a model and that will be the first part of this exercise. So we have to put some sort yeah, of peeing in so that the top of the part of it will fit, onto it. We'll, we'll fit into it so we can make a solid mould. And we should explain, I suppose, that we can't have any areas that create a big undercut because then you won't get the other half off, oh, will you? Yes. Right, so let's just have a look at that. So what we've got is the denture sitting in the silicon. So we've effectively taken an impression of the denture or made a model inside the denture. And we have these little bits here, which I suppose you could almost use a finger if you wanted to, to create that, to create stops. We might just push that in there. See how that's just missing at the back, of the, near the, that's much better, that's created more. So that's the first part. So we let that set. And that'll be that. We'll come, we'll come back and do the top half in a minute. Okay, so what we're doing now is just smearing on a small amount of Vaseline so that there's no possible way the two layers of silicon will bond to each other. And we don't want too much because we want it to try and be as accurate as possible. Okay, so now we've mixed up our second half of the putty and we're putting it in so that we know that we're not going to get any bubbles or drags from pushing the putty around. So we're manipulating it over the denture and down onto those keys that we've made so that we've formed a complete encasement of the denture. Bearing in mind, if you don't use enough putty, I think what will happen is you, the mould will itself will be too weak, won't it? Yes. It has to be strong and stable so it doesn't flex. Yeah. So what we have now is it's fully encased and we've got two separate halves, one of which will be the top half and the bottom half and of course the one that's underneath at the moment will end up being the model half of the denture because it's re repli replicating the fitting surface and the top is replicating the teeth, the false teeth and the, and the acrylic part of the denture. So that's it. Right, Again. so what we're going to do now is take it apart carefully because we don't want to break the mould. So there we have the teeth half of the denture. And there we have the model half. Now what we need to do is, yeah, we have to make sure that, that it's not damaged in any, any way or that it replicates the denture of course. You've damaged this one here, Mark, where you stuck the knife in, so that probably wasn't a great idea, but I think it gives us an idea. Now we have to make sure that it locates together properly. Yeah, so now we would have to pour wax into that. By drilling a hole. By drilling a hole in it, and that, that'll be later on. Great.